Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Travel Guide and Photography. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. And again, we are at my home in beautiful Thailand. It is hot, it is humid, and it is only seven o'clock in the morning and I am having a hair day because of it. And we are just gonna have to deal with that. So, a couple things out of the way. First, I have been asked many times if the images in my videos are mine or if they are stock. I have been a professional photojournalist and I've been published since 1979, so all of the images in my videos are mine. With that said and that out of the way, let's talk about Vietnam. I've been to over 80 countries and I've been asked many times, where is my favorite place? Well, towards the top of the list, if not the top of the list, is Vietnam. And inside Vietnam, my favorite place that I have been to, and I've only been to a handful of places and spent a couple months there, is Hoi An. Hoi An is an absolutely beautiful city. The first time I traveled to Hoi An was by cruise ship. You pull into a port very close to Da Nang. And from there, you can either take a shore excursion from the ship, or you can rent a taxi round trip for about $40. It's about an hour, hour and 15 minute ride. So make sure you have plenty of time to get to Hoi An and get back to your ship. When I was there, my ship did not leave until nine o'clock at night. So we had plenty of time to get to Hoi An. Another way that I've gotten there and a way many people get there is flying and you fly into Da Nang. I would highly suggest paying the extra $25 for the expedited service when you get your visa online. It will cut through all the red tape and you'll be pulled to the side, taken through a special line and get through all the hassles of getting into Vietnam very, very quickly. So again, pay the extra $25 for the expedited service. One of the reasons people go to Hoi An is to visit the ancient city. And it dates back to the 15th century, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. During what the Vietnamese call the American War, and the Americans call the Vietnam War, both sides made a pact not to bomb Hoi An. Unlike Way and Da Nang, which got devastated during the war. Hoi An is filled with French architecture, and beautiful buildings and colorful buildings it's just an unbelievably beautiful place. It sits on the Thu Bon River, which opens into the sea, so it was a major trading port in its early days. When most people hear the phrase City of Lights, they think of Paris. When I hear the phrase City of Lights, I think of Hoi An. Hoi An is the Paris of Southeast Asia. It is known as the City of Lights. It is known as the Lantern City. All the streets are lit up with silk lanterns of every shape, size, and color. And there are many shops that you can buy these lanterns to take home. If you are lucky enough to be there during the full moon of each month, they actually have a lantern festival. It's like Hoi An on steroids. Lanterns are everywhere. The boats in the river are all lit up with lanterns. And just like traffic in Vietnam, if you've never been in Vietnam or Southeast Asia, traffic is absolutely crazy. Well, during the Lantern Festival, it's just like that on the river with the boats. It is well orchestrated chaos. And for just two or three dollars a person, you can go out for about 30 to 45 minutes in one of these small boats, take a paddle through the river, and really enjoy Hoi An. And I really suggest doing that. It's a great way to see the city. It kind of lines both banks of the river. Hoi An is also becoming a foodie destination, mainly because of Anthony Bourdain. If you followed Anthony Bourdain, you know that Vietnam was his favorite country. And his favorite place to get a banh mi sandwich in Vietnam was located in Hoi An. One of the things you should definitely try is the white rose dumplings and the cow lu noodles. The reason these are so special, the water to make the noodles could only be found 
in Hoi An and is found in a 10th century well with different minerals from the volcanic ash in the area. It's called the Bali Well. It's just a small well that's been preserved and daily restaurants will go there, take the water, make the Kowloon noodles and the white rose dumplings. Also, like most Southeast Asian countries, there's a large open air market. You can also get a wide variety of food in the market. There's also a fish market where you can come and choose a live fish that they will take and cook for you. If you take a walk across the bridge, there you will also find a large variety of restaurants. You will also find a walking street lined with street food. Again, it's a typical thing of Southeast Asia. Very, very good food, street markets, food markets, and great restaurants. Another thing that Hoi An is known for is its tailors. It has over 200 custom tailors and they can whip something up for you in a heartbeat. You can take a picture of a suit or an outfit or a shirt, something that you like that you've seen in a magazine and they'll have it for you the next day. And the costs are very, very minimal for a beautiful silk suit or anything else you want to have made. So keep that in mind also when you visit Hoi An. Go to one of the tailors, get a custom suit, a custom outfit, a custom dress. There are also many, many souvenir shops Then you can find souvenirs, trinkets, shirts, t-shirts, and what you usually find in most tourist destinations. Another site that you should visit in Hoi An is the Japanese Bridge. It dates back to the 15th century and at that time it linked the Chinese and the Japanese quarters of the city together. So all in all, Hoi An is a beautiful place to visit. You can get there and spend a few hours to a day walking around. Again, you can get there by cruise ship or you can fly into Da Nang. Lodging, very inexpensive. I had a beautiful room in a nice hotel overlooking the rice paddies for $26 a night. Rooms will range anywhere from maybe $20 to for five star, you're looking at 50 to $75 a night. So extremely affordable. One of my favorite places to visit on earth. I highly suggest that you go to Hoi An. That wraps up our visit to Hoi An, Vietnam. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, Hoi An is one of my very favorite places in the world to visit. And I've traveled there a handful of times and I will definitely go back more. If you've enjoyed Travel Guide and Photography, please subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing. Hit the bell so you know when I post a new video. Hit the like button. The entire purpose of this channel is for you to benefit from my experiences and my advice. If you have any comments or questions, please list them below. I promise I will answer each and every one of them. If you're thinking about going somewhere and I have not done a video on it, please tell me about that too. And if I've been there, I'll do a video for you. So again, thank you for visiting Travel Guide and Photography. Tell your friends, I'd love to keep this channel going so I can give you more and more information each week. Thank you.